all right. Any questions on the pre-market, how I look at that and what I do with those trades? Just remember, because there's no stops, we have to be very careful. If any of you are new in here or to the market, if you're trying to buy anything pre-market, you have to use a limit order. You cannot have a stop loss in place because they don't exist in the pre-market. So it'd be limit, use uh, the best price you can get it for, and then go at it that way. So coach, would Amazon be another good... Yeah, absolutely. So again, you see how it broke VWAP? As soon as it did, that's when you can do a hold, right? Because you already know. This is why a lot of times I love to get into it on the break of because then I know I can get out earlier. So uh, what I mean by that is see it right here. This is a great entry because then your stop is just below VWAP and then you got all this room because now when we get in, right, let's say we enter in right here. Well, now we've got to wait, right, all the way down to here before I can have a stop because it can just come down and down. And But do you see the difference? So the timing is better, obviously, on the break of VWAP to get the move to here than it is to get here, but you still have all the way back down here for confirmation. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. So anytime you guys are trading in the pre-market, always, always, always be using that VWAP as an indicator. And coach, also, do you recommend uh, following some of the two-minute EWO rules when trading after hours of pre -market? You can. Yeah, you can. Um, it's obviously a little harder because there's not volume, but absolutely right. same rules will apply uh, just know that if you're going with like penny stocks or low float, meaning volatile stocks versus a blue chip like an Amazon or Microsoft, et cetera, that it can become more volatile even in that short amount of time and then pull on you and then the two minute doesn't do you any good. Right. And since you can't place a stop anyway, Correct. you're putting yep. yourself in more danger. So Correct. all right, good. Thank you. Yep, yep. And the best thing to do, honestly, is what, if you guys are doing pre-market, you know, as you guys know, and hopefully you're now starting to follow that rule of, you know, small entry size, it means even more in the pre-market because at any point, any news can drop this. There's no SEC halts typically unless they think there's some sort of fraud. Like it can be you know, up 100, down 200, up 300%, down, like it's just, ee, 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 you, there's no control of it, right? If you guys have a large, you know, larger account and you do have uh, margin and you can day trade unlimited, Tesla is a really good one um, just to get these little micro moves, right? See how it's, it's going down right now? Like I could literally be, and it's because it's pre-market, it moves slower, Obviously, watch for every hour on the hour because new brokers come online and then it'll cause all sorts of, you know, volume craziness. But like right here, right? If I am slowly trading Tesla, I'm going to do the same thing. Treat this just like you would like right here. I would long this. See it? See how it's popping up now off of, off of this channel to the downside? So I could scoop up 500 shares here in the pre-market super slow take this thing back up to here and then sell those off and short those and do it just like I would in the middle of the day, except it's slow moving because it's pre-market and there's not as much volume pouring in here, right? So it's almost like you could do this to get your training wheels, right? And try to figure out channels and trading. What do I do? And what does that look like? And how do I use it, right? See right here? See how it touched right here? But think about it. Now, 500 shares at 35 cents to six, that's 25 cent move, right? That's that's money, by the way, <laughs> right? You see how it touched? And then I would sell here and I told you exactly up here, right? But you could start to trade like this just as if it was in a regular day's trading session but it's smaller, it moves less violent, it's easier going, you could do it with less shares to get a feel for how this works. But does that make sense to everybody? Absolutely. Yeah, it's just, uh, 
feels a little risky without having stops. I'm still well, it on always the is, list. but that's why we pick something like a Tesla, a Microsoft, a Google, an Amazon, uh, right? Yep. Battleships so, turn slower. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yep. I mean, if you look at it, like right here was a big drop, 261.25 to 260.81. That was the biggest drop it's had right here. See it? Yep. That's off of a full one minute. So it's, it's again, it's one of those risk rewards and, you know, go with what you know. I mean, it could be a hundred shares. Think about it. A hundred shares every 20 cents is going to get you 20 bucks and you could do that 50 times in the pre-market, right? Coach, you could do that with Bitcoin over the weekend. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Bitcoin. Uh, yeah. I mean, anything that moves like that, you can do it, right? So again, you can see here it comes up on the ceiling. That's where I sell off. And right here now I can short this, right? And the same thing. Now I'm shorting it to the downside. I click short. I say 100 or however many I buy. I short this all the way back down. Sell whenever I want. If it breaks above 261.61-ish, I'm out. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Do it 20, 30, 50 times in the pre-market and surprise yourself at what you can actually do before the damn bell rings at 9.30, right? You could be done trading easily, right? <laughs> Coach, is that what um, Brady did in the beginning? No, no, uh -uh. he did it during live, during the real market. Right, right, live. But it's yes, okay. but yes, what, yeah, trading... What Yes, channels is what I've trained you guys all the time on, right? Is how to do it. Like right here, boom, pop, it popped up. I get rid of my short. I go long. Why? Because now it wants to come up here. 